Mississippi State head baseball coach Chris Lamonis. Team went to Arkansas this weekend, lost the first two, and then got a really good win yesterday. Five to three in 12 innings. Big time gut check win, or at least it felt like that yesterday, Chris, for your ball club. What was your takeaway from uh, from the series finale yesterday? Well, I'm glad we played the way we did on Sunday. We didn't have uh, two poor performances the first two days. And, uh, you know, it showed a lot of character for our ball club to come out. And Cade pitched great, got us going. And then, uh, you know, we just fought. It was just, uh, just a hard-fought game because, unfortunately, in the first two wins for Arkansas, they didn't have to use any of their bullpen. So we had to really fight through some of their better arms yesterday. And, and like you said, it was a gut check. Coach, when I've been talking about this team in this season, I keep using the word grind. It feels like nothing has come easy for you in, in this season. You know, I, I, you know, from a health standpoint, I know where your team's at, but mentally, how, how do you feel about your team right now? Have they embraced the grind that has become this season? Yeah, I think they have. I think it's been a, um, you know, it hasn't been easy. It's just we've had some tough breaks here and there, and then we haven't played well either at certain times. So that's it's twofold. Um, but, man, they're fighting through it, and that's the challenge right now. And our league looks like a grind besides maybe Tennessee and Arkansas. You look up, and there's just a lot of teams fighting right now and trying to find themselves. And um, our goal is to get better, to play better baseball every day. And, and we, we need to play more consistent. It's been my uh, preach to the team lately. It's just bringing a consistent product to the field. And um, we got a good group of kids. They're working hard. Um, we got a big weekend ahead of us, so we'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to keep grinding. One of the guys who's had a lot of to, a lot of grinding to do has been Jackson Fristo. Has been really up and down, but last week was one of his best weeks he's had in quite a while. Do you feel like he's sort of settling into a closer kind of role? How how has he how has he handled that? Yeah, he's handled it well. I mean, he's had uh you know he came back from Christmas and just wasn't all the way right. It just his velo was down and didn't pitch good and then, you know wanted to be a starter and and kind of got off to a slow start and um, since Fox put him in the bullpen. Um, there's been some tough outings here. I, even yesterday when he ran out with the bases loaded on the road uh, with the game on the line, I mean, we did that two weeks ago at Georgia. So we laughed about it on the mound. And, and, you know, I said, hey, you've been practicing for this one already. We're used to this. And, man, he did an unbelievable job. And his stuff is back to where it was last year. He's just got really good stuff right now. And he's pitching with some confidence. And, um, you know, we're trying to keep, you know, when you have a slow start, you always look up and at your stats or whatever. And we've talked a lot about just – pushing all that to the side and just pitching good today and, and pitching good tomorrow and just, just moving forward. You got Casey Hunt back in action this week, pitched against Memphis and gave you an inning over, over the weekend. Is that just going to be a process of getting him back up to speed? And could you see him getting back into the rotation? Or do you think he settles into the bullpen? Well, I, I don't think we know that yet. We're just trying to build volume, you know, so he's at about 30 pitches right now. Um, trying to get get him out there, get him comfortable. We need him to pitch good too, you know. Like that's the, you know, unfortunately, and and at times, you know, trying to come back and then having to come back at Arkansas or you know, at some of these places. I want him to get out there and get his feet wet a little bit because we really don't have a chance to use him in practice. Like we, you know, when you come out of spring training, so that's a, you know, that piece there with him a little bit is important too, just to get him in the right spots. But we're we're building volume weekly and. And building his arm strength back up, and and you know, hope we're getting more and more out of him. Chris, you've got the uh, the incredible home environment in, in Starkville, maybe the best college baseball environment in in the country, and yet there are four or five stadiums in the SEC that are really really special, where it's big crowds and the fans are on top of you. Fayetteville's one of those places. What's it like as a, a visiting coach, visiting team, to go into uh, into Baumwalker Stadium and, and face that environment? Yeah, it, it's special. I tell you, they do a great job with it. And they just, you know, from every aspect of it, they do a great job. And it's tough. It, it's tough on kids who haven't been there before. It's on tough on kids who have been there before. You know, it was, you know, I got, I was texting with Tanner Allen and Rowdy Jordan in the plane last night as we were about to take off and just, you know, laughing about it. And they're giving Cumbus the hard time because they know those fans are yelling at your left fielder. And so it's, <laughs> when you look back, that's what makes this league special. When I recruit, I talk all the time about, you know, you're going to play here in front of our fan base, but, man, you're going to get – baseball realizes it, too, because, you know, they see what all these athletes have to do. It's just different than what some other kids and other conferences have to deal with. The, the fan experience here is, man, it's pretty crazy. 
Did, did the park play any different with that building that's in right field now, kind of down in the corner, maybe block some of the wind or create some? Is it any different than it was? No, I don't think it messed with the wind. You know, we had a bad wind yesterday. I think that, you know, there was a, I think there was five solo homers and there probably could have been eight or nine if there wasn't. We had a, a wind that kind of pushed everything down yesterday, but I don't think that had anything to do with the building because the first couple of days the ball kind of jumped out of there. So it's, it, that ball, park's always been offensive. Um, it just has your left handed hitters are trying to hit it all the time, it feels like, because it's right behind the wall. Um, but I don't think it changed too much. It's, a, it's an impressive building. They, they've done a really nice job with their ballpark. You mentioned well, having some. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Richard. Well, I just wanted to ask kind of a big picture thing. And this as uh, relates to another series this weekend. So I feel like I can maybe ask you in this moment, it makes sense. Walk me through the bat inspection process. The the whole umpires look at bats. They put stickers on them. Does this? Or is it hard to keep the stickers on? When does that happen? Is there any conversation if a sticker comes off? I'm I'm obviously referencing the the Tennessee Vanderbilt game one on on Friday night. Right. Um, it's a pretty simple process before the game. Everybody brings their bats in and operations and game management. And everybody, both teams are there, and every bat goes through a test, and then you get a sticker and. It's for every every series that you play. I mean, it's been like that for years. It's just, you know, for this year, it's kind of come out to be a big deal because we've had it in a couple of different series. So I don't yeah. – we haven't had an issue with it. Um, but, you know, you're looking around and seeing it. I mean, it's um, it, it's done everywhere. I mean, every game, you know, we play tomorrow with UT Martin. We'll do a bad inspection because it's a new team. And we do a mad at bad inspection and everybody gets a sticker. And the sticker goes on and then – Boom here to the next game, and the stickers usually stay on. You know, that's, I'm not saying they wouldn't fall off, but um, I don't know. <laughs> what are they looking about for? Other, you know, I don't know anything about. Well, they're looking at compression because you know the bats get to a certain point where they're they're too lively. You know, they're, they're, there's too much bounce to them, or the structure of the bat. So they they put a ring test on it too to make sure the bat has a good circumference. You know about it because sometimes the bats the bats will bend, but they're just trying to make sure the compression. I'm not real smart, and I don't go to those meetings. And I, most SEC coaches aren't <laughs> in those meetings. You know, you have people that are doing it, but um, I, I don't. Like I said, I, I saw a little bit about what happened this weekend, and a sticker could fall off. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but it's, you know, we've been doing it for a couple of years. Coach, one thing you know, our job here on on shows like this is to talk about what you would probably term as outside noise. We talk about RPI, we talk about projections and, and things like that. And I know you say you, you try to insulate the team from that, but as a coach, you ever pull up D1 baseball and look at the projections? You ever go to Warren Nolan and look at the RPI at any point in the season? Oh, I, I look at RPI because I look at uh, – I'm a schedule maker too, right? So I'm frustrated right now. Even though we haven't played as good as we could, I, you know, I felt like we played pretty hard early and we played teams that were hot early. And then our RPI is a little lower than I thought. So I always look at RPI and strength of schedule because I'm – you're always trying to build the best schedule for your team, you know, so your team can have it. I do not look at projections. I didn't look at them last year when we were fourth or fifth in the country, and I don't look at them now because they don't mean squat. So they, I mean, they really, it's just, you know, people having a good time and fun and projecting and trying to get likes or hits or whatever else. I mean, we really don't, you know, in our world, we know, and if you look at the SEC right now, it's a jumbled mess. You know, you get so many wins, you get the, you're in the postseason. Doesn't matter what anybody writes. So, that's kind of where, where we're at right now. But I do look at RPI. I think RPI is important and, and how you move and what how games. You're, you're always trying to figure out the RPI. We, we were talking last week, Chris. It's crazy to think, based on the jumbled mess that you referenced, we've only got a minute left. I mean, you, you could have 10 or 11 teams when this is all finished this year that are between, like, 13 and 17 and 16 and 14. It's crazy that the league is as jumbled and looks like it may stay that way. Yeah, I have a feeling it might. You know, I mean, there's just uh, – when we have one team, like Tennessee, like is – right now they look like the best team in the SEC history. Like, uh, in, in all seriousness, they are just – it is power pitching like I've never seen, and then they're they're really good offensively. So, um, you know, that's a – that's a it's just impressive. And then, um, then Arkansas was really good, and then there's a lot of us that just – we're all together. And it's – we're playing, you know, good weekend, bad weekend, and um, – Man, we all got to do a better job, you know, shoot, trying to fight through it. But it's a, um, it'll be a race to the finish. That last couple of weeks will probably be really interesting. Certainly going to be so. Thanks as always for your time. Great stuff today. Okay. Take care, guys.
It's Chris Lamonis, head baseball coach at Mississippi State. Unpacked a lot there. Good uh, good Sunday win for Mississippi State. Had to really fight through it to get a 5-3 win yesterday. We'll talk a little bit more about the series. 